welcome to this tutorial from WatchingTheNet.com on how to identify unknown processes in Windows. One utility that I like to use to identify these processes is a great utility from SysInternals called Process Explorer. You can easily download this tool by just going to Google and type SysInternals Process Explorer. Do a search and click on the first result. This will take you to, which is now Microsoft's site, um, SysInternals is. Just scroll down to you find the download link. And you want to scroll down about three quarters of the way on the page. Just click on it, save it to your PC, unzip it and you can just click on the executable to run Process Explorer and the great thing about it is there's no installation needed. Once you download and unzip it and run it, Process Explorer will run. And as you can see you get a lot of information out of this, but don't let this intimidate you. It's very easy to use. One of the first things I like to do is first set up my columns. So select from the menu view, select columns, and I like to show the username, the image path. The image path is the actual path of where this process is living on your PC, and we'll see that later. Um, I like the command line, and you can also do Windows status. So once you're done with that, just click OK, and you'll notice you'll have your columns showing up right side. Now, let's take uh, an example here of a process that we're not sure. So I'll scroll down and let's take a look at this process. All right now many of you probably know what it is. If you don't, this will tell you what it is. And under the description column it tells you what it is. It's the AVG email scanner. That's my antivirus software that I have. PID column shows you the PID number that it is. But what's more important here is as you scroll over, you can find out the company name, uh, which username it's running under, which is uh, in Windows the system. But this is the column I like to see, is the path, because the path will tell you exactly where this executable lives. And you can see it's on the program files, Microsoft AVG. The other thing I like is the command line, which is the actual command that was used to execute this. And if you just mouse over it, you can see the executable name. So there's no doubt to where this process is. One of the other things that you can do is just right click on it and select properties. And in properties, you have a whole wealth of information here. Here's the path that we just saw, here's the command line, current directory where uh, this directory is um, working out of. Uh, it gives you all, a lot of inf other information. You can kill the process. Uh, it, click on the performance tab and you can see how much CPU utilization, virtual memory, everything. This is why this tool is so good. Uh, performance graph. Uh, which is in real time and not much is happening with that right now. Service, when you click on the service it'll tell you the exact service that is actually running. You can also stop it if you want. Um, you can also see permissions too. Who has rights to run this. Uh, your other uh, options up here in these tabs are threads. This will show you all the threads that are running underneath this process once it runs up is great and you can kill them. So this is great for when you're uh, tracking down spyware and not sure what the process is, you can see everything about it. Once again, security, the environment, which is just your past statements, string. So pretty much the useful tabs are the image, uh, the performance, and the services. Uh, another nice thing about this that I like, you can also set up um, like a lower pane in here. And this will show you more information. Basically what you get out of the properties. So, can't go wrong with this tool. It's a great tool. I highly advise you to download it. Once you do, you'll never wonder why. You never
never had this running before and you'll always see what's going on in your PC so that's it for this tutorial if you want to find out more great tips visit www.watchingthenet.com